whatever but you I have to say, I, I can wanna, answer it. I want to ask you. So, not saying that you have to be perfect, because that's not what I'm trying to say at all. And I want to word it right for, for us to be able to communicate through it, right? So you've been there. But how long? Because I didn't even, With I swear I didn't even go into it. I didn't even look. I'm like, man, we got more bigger fish to fry. But I'm trying to paint a picture. Yeah. With the that was, what, a month ago? Mm-hmm. Okay. But you've been in this space. How does that happen then? It happens when I'm not in prayer and I'm in the flesh. I'm not mad at that, yeah. I can see that. It's honest. But what makes the flesh angry, right? Like, what makes that, what makes your flesh upset that it's like, okay, bro, so I got to go back on what, what, what I'm, what I'm okay, trying to be. Okay, so in. when you, all right, let me, I want to be able to explain it the right way. Okay. I guess, what was it about? And I guess that can walk you into it. My friend hit me, mm-hmm. right? Physically hit me. Mm. I look at her as family, okay? Right? The old me, we would have been fighting, mm-hmm. right? Cardi, not my friend. I don't really know Cardi, mm. right? But still, I'm in the flesh, arguing with her period, right? And the things that she was saying triggered. The things that she done triggered. This situation, it was more of some like family. And I understood the pain with this situation because I understood what this person was going through. She's going through a lot, Mm. and I understood. And I also knew that this wasn't this person. Something really just happened to this person. That caused That caused this. To feel these ways and do things. To feel this what's going on. Because it wasn't just, she didn't just do nothing to me. It was like, she's on her. She got a lot of trauma angry, right now. Yeah, but you probably yeah. can relate to that because it's things could, that. And I could, and I could, but if I call her right now, and I need her, she's gonna pull up angst, no questions, nothing the above. You get it? I feel you. You get what I'm saying? No, nah, for sure. And I felt like it was just something in me. I just couldn't. So what were the triggers? Were you able to now that is is done? Were you able to go back and acknowledge those triggers, whatever those triggers were that I don't know what Cardi said or whatever? Are you able to see what those were now? What, what the triggers? triggers? Mm-hmm. Of the triggers? course. What was it? My kids. Mm. Okay. Sex tape okay. you bringing up. Like like certain stuff, like when you bring certain things up, it, it triggers me because my kids are in the home with me and – they got to watch this. They got to go to school. You posting a sex tape that my kids got to go to school. They got to have people come at them about, and it throwing me back into trauma. Now, was this unprovoked, or was do you think something, some of your actions uh, provoked it? Like, because, again, I... Once again, I don't feel like I did anything to her for, to do that. Okay. They were sending me a lot of things about her that I could have posted and I didn't do it. Okay. So we want to talk. As a mother, I don't feel like she should even scoop that low. Like, and let's just be real. You got kids, I got kids. Do you think that's something that you probably could revisit and have a conversation off the internet, away from everybody, to like piece that up, or is that like no going back? Well, I just don't want to, at this space that I'm in, I just don't want to talk to nobody. I just wanna try to. I'm trying to fix me. Can't be mad at that for sure. And it's nothing against nobody. I just need to fix me. I need. I need to heal. I need to get me together. I need to because that tape and that tape really messes with me mm. and throws me into depression. Because here's the thing. I have to get on internet and act like oh I'm smiling and 
this and try to be a strong woman to not feel humiliated, but inside I be dying. Mm. That's some real shit, man. You know, because here's the thing. If I get on here and I cry, ooh, I look weak. But you can't, and once again, you can't get on here and I'm going to look weak. Not the first thing they say, oh, not not her. She's a bully. She's this. But not knowing that, I feel so humiliated. This hate have me don't want to wake up in the morning. I'm depressed. You know, like, I talk to my pastor every five minutes. It throws me into a state of don't want to wake up. Don't know what my kids is dealing with. Don't know what I'm battling with at home. This is a lot for me to face. On top of that, I still got to get on Instagram and because you still got to keep moving. Because if I don't get on Instagram and post these, you know, the ads, you know, these these branding deals, and then guess what? I don't make no money to feed my kids. Mm. 